Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome to a new video. Uh, today we're going to be playing with some last chance makeup. That means makeup that has been in my life, in my collection. It has managed to live through multiple declutters, which looking back at this stuff, I'm like, why? But we'll get into it. So yeah, I'm going to put it on my face and discuss and we'll we'll see where we go um this should be a pretty interesting face so let's get into it okay i don't have any base products in here so i'm gonna go ahead and do my base real quick and then we'll get into the michigas fortunately for me i just dyed my eyebrows i think they look pretty good i'm very happy with them ew i don't know what this is but i'm not using it i'm gonna go in with my kosis this is this is the jasmine beauty brow boss it is like the only texture it's just it's a really squishy wax and i don't know if it's dried out or if that's the texture that it was because i don't use this product i don't use it so it's gonna get the the chop it's gonna get the right away declutter chop. Let me go in real quick with my Kosas and then we'll move on. Okay, I don't know why they're not remotely even. <laughs> the right one's all fluffy and straight and the left one's all curved. Anyway, okay. Let's get into this this makeup. <sighs> Glossier Cloud Paint. So uh, this is in Storm. It's like the perfect outside wind-kissed cheek, but it's so, so rich. That is all I'm going to need for my entire face. One side. Yeah and I have product left on my finger. Let me blend this out pretty fast because it is going to dry. At one point, I think I had like six of the eight shades. Oh, yeah. And while I loved playing with them and swatching them, I don't love wearing them. And it's not because they're not pretty, they're just, like, I thought I put on little enough. You can never seem to dispense a little enough product for this to actually blend out and look nice. I think it's fine. I don't know. Uh, let's see how the rest of the face comes out, because this is going to be interesting. I don't know. I'm not blown away. Okay, next. <clears throat> this is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Light Wand in Peachgasm. I bought this a long time ago and I thought I would get a lot of use out of it because I love a blushy highlight and I love a highlighty blush, but it just... doesn't get used and I don't know if it's because it's I consider it quote difficult to use I mean it is pretty it is pretty and it actually blended out really nicely even on top of the the cloud paint I'll paint it on my cheekbone why not no reason not to. I actually really like that. I do. And maybe after this, it will be a little bit more cemented in my Makeup Mind Palace, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not making any judgments or casting aspersions right now. We're just playing. Um, as far as eyeshadow goes, I have this single liquid eyeshadow from Giorgio Armani. I don't remember how I feel about this. 
and I specifically don't know if I should use a primer or just let it be. I think I'm just going to let it be. I'm not going to put a primer under it. We're going to test it on its own merits. Okay, to blend this out, I grabbed this Real Techniques brush. It's It's got that cross-cut angle that I really like, and it's tiny. Hmm, that's actually quite pretty. Let's see if it'll layer. Let's just see if we can layer it up. And if it picks itself up or if it dries, let's, we'll, we'll have to experiment. And I'm just being very gentle, like I would with any other liquid or cream eyeshadows. I'm just blending the edges. And I'm slightly pulling it up to extend into my crease so that when my eyes are open, you can still see the eyeshadow. It does layer pretty nicely. It's not disturbing the layer underneath. But you do have to work fast. That looks patchy. And I don't know if it's like the color shift or that I didn't put it on over a primer. But yeah, you can see right there, it's like super, super patchy on my eyelid. Yeah, I think I'm just going to toss this. I don't love it. Okay, I don't, don't love that. Don't love that for me. Well, I've got blush and highlight. Let's do some bronzer. This is one that I used to love and I just haven't reached for it much lately. This is one of the skin bronzing powders from Nabla. I love the blush. I love the highlight in this formula, but I've gotten really persnickety about my bronzers lately. So we're going to try this one out and see how she does and uh, make, make some decisions. Well, I'll make the final decisions at the end. So, all right, picking some of this up on my Ulta bronzer brush and then really working it into the bristles in the lid. Okay, bring it down and just kiss it over the high points of my cheeks. I don't hate that. I don't dislike it. I think it's actually quite pretty. I think it's, it's, the pigment is nice and even. It's not super hard to work with. I like the bronzer. I like the tone that it leaves. I also like how light it is. It's very easy to work with. All right, now we're getting into a couple of products that I just haven't reached for in a really long time. I don't know how they function anymore. So this is the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. I think, so I put this on my Christmas list and my brother got it for me, but he got me the full size. I just wanted the mini. I had hoped that this would work like one of the ambient lighting powders, but I don't know. I haven't reached for it in a long time, but I also feel like I haven't given it its due. And that's what this video is all about, is deciding what I want to keep using and develop working with, or is it something that I'm just like not willing, not willing to put up with. I don't know how like mattifying this will be, but I'll put it where I would normally powder, which is down and around my mouth and just sweep a little under the eye socket. It's smoothing, but it's not really like 
doing what I like a setting powder to do, which is take down the shine and kind of disrupt the socket line. It's pretty. Okay, it has smoothed and kind of set my under eyes. They don't look terrible. They don't look dry and crunchy the way they would if I had like gone in with a lot of heavy powder, like one of the mattifying powder. I love the Kosas powder, but it looks like garbage under my eyes. But it does work to disrupt that socket line. It is very smoothing and it's blurring. And that I appreciate. I seem to remember needing to use a setting spray with this. So at the end, I'll spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus and see how everything kind of melts together. Okay, I have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of pencil products, but I also have this baby. This is my baby. This is the first high-end makeup item I bought myself. And I love it, but I feel like it's just gone off a little bit. I feel like it has, it is, it is getting close to retirement age. This is never going to be decluttered. It's going to be put with my sentimental slash beautiful makeup on my shelf next door. And, but we're going to, we're going to give her a try. This is Lilac Geode from Becca. This is not a Smashbox collab or yeah, I have heard that Smashbox is bringing out more of the Becca highlighters, not just Champagne Pop. Not just Champagne Pop. Because some of us are too light for Champagne Pop. All right, I do already have that highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah. I mean, she's highlighty and she's pretty. I'm putting this like slightly under. I don't expect this face of makeup to be functional. I thoroughly expect to have to wash my face after this and do my makeup again for my next video. But it's just the way it is right now. You know, I, I pulled together this lot of products and yeah, it's... Hmm. It's very highlighty, but it is not the kind of highlight that I'm using anymore. It's very highlighty and it's pretty gold. Again, we need to see how the rest of the face comes out, but as far as this is concerned, like I will always love her to pieces, but I don't know if she's functional as a makeup item. All right, where are we going next? <sighs> Do I have to? I think I have to. Okay. Um, I have had a very fraught relationship with these. I have a third one. This is an uh, the Smoky Eye Baton from Surratt. These are the lip products. I can't remember what they're called, but these are the lips. I have it in a deep purple and a chocolate brown. So I was actually playing with these earlier and what I discovered, especially with the lip, is these these have a powder on the other end that is used to set and blur and blend the cream. Here, I'll show you. So that's, we'll go with the brown one because that's the one that's in my hand. So when you get enough powder down to really set that cream, it becomes way too much. It, it's just like super opaque. It looks like you stuck your face in a bag of chocolate chips. And we're going to play with it. Oh, not looking forward to that. But let's do the brown on one side and maybe the purple on the other, because I do want to give both colors a fair test. 
I'm just not excited about it. I'm really not. But we're going to do it. Because we got to do it. So I'm just going to fill in that corner and then use my finger to tap it in. So it's got a quite a lovely finish to it. I'll do the purple in the center and the brown on the edges. I don't like asymmetry. I mean, if you're, if I'm looking for like a lip contour, I guess, but, and that's just, okay. The pencil is quite pretty. I, I do like it, but let's, let's see what happens. Actually, let me do the purple on the inside so that we don't actually set the whole lip. And then I've got, you know, just the center. Yeah, I've forgotten how much this one bleeds. You can see under my lip right there. It is already going. from the lower lip. That's actually quite pretty. It really is. It's not a terrible lip. I actually would wear just this. We need the moment of truth. So I am touching extremely lightly. I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I'm just letting the powder, powder transfer on its own. This. So there you have it. It's it's an interesting concept. It really is. It's I think the idea is that you put on the crayon and then you put the powder over it and it's supposed to set it all day. It's not supposed to budge but at least with these two shades it's so hard to get an even application that doesn't look like you just smeared chocolate powder all over your face i don't dislike the color of the brown pencil i don't see myself using the purple very much it's i bought it because it used to be a tone of eyeliner of lip color that I loved. I have green eyes and a bright magenta purple lip used to look really good on me. Nowadays it's a little too high contrast for what I do. So I will I will make ultimate decisions at the end but right now it's not looking great for the purple. And speaking of Ciroc, we have another. This is their um, oh crap, it's their Smoky Eye Baton. And again, the packaging, look at how tiny that writing is. Look at how tiny it is. There's, there's no hope. I have to do something about this lip real quick. I cannot take myself seriously. <laughs> I mean, I rarely take myself seriously, but like, just mm. not, not the, uh, it's not the vibe. It's 
not the vibe we're going for today. This is the same idea as the lip pencil, but from my understanding, this is a much more successful formula. So we're going to put it on my eyeballs and we're going to see. Now, I don't know how this is going to work over that liquid eyeshadow. So I don't know how quick I'll be, if I'll be able to make a judgment on it in this video, because it is going over another liquid eye product. All right, I'm going to stop talking and put it on. Hmm, okay, the pencil again is creamy. It's really easy to work with. And the powder isn't laying down too much. It's actually really pretty. Let's I'm I'm having this memory to middle school where one of the popular girls wrote in my yearbook that she and her sister would give me a uh, a makeover over the summer just like if they could see me now if they could see me now on a fun ship cruise leave it in the comments if you know what i'm talking about oh my god 90s kids like we have we have trauma from commercials I will link the uh, Mr. Bucket. <laughs> Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket. Oh my God. I like that. I like that very much. And I do like a smudgy smoky liner sometimes i know my liner is all different shapes but i'm not worrying about that right now i'm just working it over and the the crayon is actually going over the powder over the set powder it is transferring to my under eye i've got a little bit of purple smudging in my concealer because I don't fully powder my concealer. Maybe I should. Let's full on test this powder and see how she does under my eyes. So I'm going in with the flat It Cosmetics concealer brush. Well, they don't look any worse. <laughs> I guess that's really all that can be said for powdering my under eyes is they don't look any worse than they did. I have yet, oh, I have one powder. And we haven't played with that one in a while. I should pull that one out. Okay. I think I like this. Look at how green that makes my eyes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I see what you're laying down, Surat. I, I see it. And this I like. These two I don't know about. We'll, we'll do a final reckoning at the end. I do have another lip liner, so let me wipe this off. Please, let me wipe this off. Okay. This is from Oma. I don't even know if this brand is fully in business anymore. They have two products that I adore and that I plan to keep using, but this, I don't know. It does need to be sharpened. I remember hearing beauty YouTubers complain about needing to sharpen pencils. I'm like, I love sharpening pencils. It's very satisfying. I don't know what shade this is. Let me check. Eyeballs, eyeballs. Eyeballs. Okay. I can approve of their like 
jokery. <laughs> that says a badass is better than a dumbass. Uh, right there, if I'm holding it upside down, it says badass MF. And then just on the other side is written Ross. <laughs> so I'm wondering if that's the shade name. Who knows? It could have been a collaboration with friends. And I didn't get Monica or Rachel, which is sad because my name is Rachel. It's, it's pretty much the same color as the, um, the Surat. So here's the thing. I don't wear berry lips. Not anymore. So even if the formula was great, it's not. It's a little dry. It's a little tuggy. But it does blend out nice. It, it blends out nicely, which I appreciate. But I don't, I don't think I love it. Let me finish the face and we'll see. I am not going to be tossing or decluttering this, but I think I just need to use it more because it's so densely pigmented. This is one of the YSL Candy Glaze in the shade scenic brown it's a gorgeous shade and i love a brown lip but it's so pigmented that you only need the smallest bit it does also smell like candy mixed with that lip liner it's really pretty i feel like i have lip liner all over my face i feel like i have lip stuff kind of coming out of the corners of my eyes. I like that lip. It's pretty. But am I going to take the time to use a really rich berry eye lip liner? No, probably not. Probably not. I'm wondering, this is one of the um, Kaleidos. <sighs> Multi-chrome eyeliners. And I I was hooked for these, yo. I wanted the entire set. But I bought this one, which is Night of Creation, and I bought Tourmaline. I have never been so disappointed. Never. In something that I was like, that's not true. The KVD Satan Center palette did me dirty. I did not like that palette. But these pencils were almost worse. So let me put that on top of the Surratt and we'll see if I like it. We'll see. Hmm. I can't really see a difference. Let me do this on my lower line, lower lash line, and we'll see. How many times? Take a shot every time I say, we'll see. I don't know. It's got to be built up a lot. It doesn't just go on full color like that. It's kind of skippy and not in like the good peanut butter way. Wow, that is intense eyeliner. And so far that powder is looking really nice. I like it. I don't see myself using it. I have so many beautiful eyeshadows from Cleona that I do not see myself reaching for this. This is a mascara that I've had in my collection forever. I'm going to open it. I'm going to do a 
one-time test and if I don't like it I'm going to declutter it. I, I do not have it in me to keep tiny little samples. Oh, criminally. Okay, you've got this tiny little wand. Humongous brush. Oh my goodness. I don't mind a big brush, but... So this is... I can't... I don't even think I, I said what this is. Les petits entrées vendues. Not for sale. This must have been a free sample. It's the Parfume Christian Dior. Alright. Okay. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. It's really thick and tacky. And again, I've had this for a long time, which is why I pulled it out. I do not love that humongous brush. I like the effect it gives, but I don't like working with it. It doesn't feel like something that is that I can use with reckless abandon. Christian Dior, no thank you, sir. The highlight is highlighting, that's for certain. Let me move you out and we'll do some final thoughts. Okay, let's, <clears throat> let's dissect this. The, what did we start with? We started with Glossier. I'm gonna declutter this. It's, I've had it a long time. And it's just, I have cream and liquid blushes that are easier to use. It's pretty. I'm not going to say it's not pretty, but it's just so old school that it, it's not really even all that relevant anymore, especially to my makeup collection. Where did we go next? Charlotte Tilbury. This took me by surprise. I like it. I think I'm going to try and continue to use it. If I haven't used a fair amount of it by my next declutter, it will probably go. The Armani eyeshadow. No, 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 no. Both of these berry liners. So the lip liner and the eye stilo, they're going to go. I, I really don't love them. And actually, no. Was the eye still up? Yeah, the eye, I'm going to keep. The purple lip one, I'm going to get rid of. As well as the Oma in the berry shade. I want to keep playing with the brown lip liner. I love a brown lip. You know, I grew up in the 90s. Brown lips were everywhere. And the burgundy eyeliner. Burgundy eyes were also big in the 90s. But I like this formula. And I want to keep playing with it. <sighs> Night of creation. This is what I'm going to say. I don't wear blue toned purple that often. And when I do, it's usually pretty subtle. This does not correlate to any of that. And I just, I don't love the formula of these. At least this one you can see. Tourmaline you couldn't even see on me. It was so lightly saturated with pigment that it just didn't work. It just didn't work. And it makes me sad because I lusted after these for the longest time. <sighs> my Becca highlight. I am going to pull it out of my makeup collection and put it with my sentimental beauty. Stuff that, that is either really beautiful for the sake of beauty or that has some sentimentality. The NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. So it is a little crinkly on my under eyes. Not too fond of that. But it looks pretty nice everywhere on my face. I mean, you look at the center of my forehead. It's got this lovely mochi skin blur. It looks like there's a blurring filter over it. And 
I very much like that. So this I will keep playing with and I'll keep using. The, the Nabla bronzer, yeah, I loved it for a reason and I'm going to keep loving it because it's beautiful. It blends nicely. It's not too green or too orange. It just does what I need it to do. And I like that. I like a simple product that just does one or two things and is simple. Oh, and last but not least, I'm just glad to get it out of my collection. I'm just glad to get it out of my stash, out of that box of mini mascaras that I have and go back to my Make Beauty and the KVD that I've really been loving lately. The YSL, of course I'm keeping it. It's a beautiful formula, beautiful color. I just need to figure out how to wear it in a way that is not so like dark, vampy queen of the night. I mean, yes, I have a queen of the night uh, aesthetic, you can't tell by my background, but I do like things that are a little darker, a little vampier. This is, this is a challenge. This is a challenge, but it's a good challenge. It's, it's not something that I'm just going to keep tripping over. It's going to be something that I can continue to play with and experiment and see how I like to wear it. But I already know I like the product that is going to do it for today's video. I am getting rid of six products. One of them is being gently removed from my stash. So that's seven things out of my stash. That feels really good. I don't know what to do with these. I feel like I should sanitize this and give it to my friend Peyton. But the rest of this, I don't know. I don't know. It may just end up going to cosmetic recycling, but we'll figure that out. By the way, if you have cosmetic empties, you can take them to an Ulta or a Sephora or a Nordstrom, and they will have a box that is just for cosmetic recycling. Um, I think it's called Pact, P-A-C-T. I will link them down below. They are doing the good work to try and reduce the amount of cosmetic packaging that goes into landfill. I also got rid of that brow wax, so that's technically eight. That feels pretty good. That feels good. So I'm keeping three, four, five, six. There's six left. That is going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this. To my current subscribers, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your time and attention. I really appreciate it. If you are new here, my name is Rachel. I'm an artist, I'm neurodivergent, I'm disabled, and I love beauty. So if you are up for all of this, please subscribe. I would love to have you. I hope you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of each other and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, friends. It's the crazy, wacky, wailing, flailing, arm-moving tube man. Mm -hmm.